problems and made it things a bit more difficult and obviously after not playing for three months even the little things make a big difference so uh, no but all credit goes to him he played really well and uh, he really played a, a high level of tennis and uh, I just wasn't sort of prepared to deal with it and but congrats to him. Basically, you were out of the game since Wimbledon, since your injury. What did you do to come back, to get back, to be fit again? Um, there's a lot. The first, for eight weeks, I was doing nine to ten hours a day of just uh, rehabilitation stuff. I had to get, there was a lot. I needed to get my hip stable, fixed, and fluid, and uh, functioning the way it needed to. So. Those days were even longer than my regular training days. And uh, then after that, I tried as much as I could to prepare the same way I prepared last December before I started having a really good year. And uh, I tried to replicate that as much as possible, tried to get in shape as much as possible. And uh, well, I feel like I, I did a really good job with it and I'm very proud of how things went. But just today, just, it was, uh, it was, uh, a shame on my part, and, but it was also a big thing on his behalf. Would Vigil surprise you with anything of his game? Because the first set was full control of your game, and then something changed. No, uh, I think the m most uh, I was surprised with was, uh, I guess, the consistency with the level. Um, normally, um, the big thing that helped me get from 200 to uh, to 20 or 30 in the world this year was the consistency in the level and uh, being able to play full matches that way and uh, that was a big difference for me and uh, mentally also so I think he handled it really well he stayed on top of me and uh, I thought maybe he I would get a few more glimpses than I did and I did get a few chances but just being out for so long it's hard to be as sharp and uh, capitalize on the first opportunities, which is a shame, but uh, he did a very good job at uh, when I didn't capitalize, he wouldn't sort of give me another chance and he would stay on top of me. Do you think that the, the loss of uh, Puti to Hospital made uh, some different uh, impact on this match? Because one of them knew that uh, he would uh, be uh, back to the world and he had to go to him. Do you think that made uh, some impact? To tell you the truth, if anything, uh, if anything, I think it let him play more free. Because uh, even though I haven't been playing for a long time, and uh, even though he's at home, I think uh, everybody was more so looking at what I would be doing, and uh, everybody was looking over my shoulder to see where my game would be at. So uh, he, he, I think it allowed him to play a bit more free at the beginning. and. Uh, and uh, he started to believe, and uh, especially in tennis, when uh, somebody starts to see the light at the end of the tunnel, things can get difficult, and uh, he started seeing that light, and uh, from there on, he managed it really well, and he took it to the end, and he deserved that one. Coach, uh, Coach uh, Lorenzo, please. Uh, after these two exhausting matches, tight matches, do you have any second thoughts about the couple you're going to send tomorrow? Two players, of course, Nestor and the other one. Yes, um, I mean, we just finished the match 12 minutes ago, so it's a little early to, to say at this stage. We only play at 3 p.m., so 
we'll see um, how the bodies are tomorrow and how the recovery of the players go. And we have options, so we can be patient and see what, what unfolds uh, overnight. Uh, did you consider this kind of script that your number two will win and your number one will lose? At the beginning of the day? Huh? Well, both, both number ones lost today. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know like if, if AL had that plan also, but we, the plan was to be ready for difficult matches, and that's that's what unfolded. And this is Davis Cup. Uh, there's, no, there's no issues with the rankings in Davis Cup. Um, and uh, we have a good example today, but nevertheless, you know, a lot of, a lot of Davis Cup or one around the, you know, how the number two react over the weekend. So maybe shaping up this way. Uh, we saw during the first match that you and uh, the Israeli captain Yalan had a few heated uh, conversations. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what you've discussed? No. <laughs> this is Davis Cup. I mean. It's a long, I mean, we're, you're, we're out there for eight hours today and many hours again over the next few days, so uh, we're not having tea out there. We're, uh, we're trying to win, so we, we play hard, we fight hard, and then we shake hands. That's it. What do you think about the behavior of the Israeli crowd today? Lorenzo, please. Me? Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. I don't know. We're two. But the uh, Israeli crowd is, is uh, very uh, vocal, like we were told and like we, we knew about. And it's, it's, uh, it's a good crowd to play in front because it makes things uh, interesting, exciting, and, and it's part of Davis Cup. This is why this is, you know, this is a great competition. You get uh, a lot of things you don't get uh, in a normal tournament, and the crowd is a one of them so it's just part of the action and we you know we, we knew about it and and uh, it's no surprise really for Milos uh, which ranking do you think that the uh, Macho can get consider performance today um uh only on the performance today, I think he can move up uh, a few, uh, quite a few spots, probably closer to the 150s. But um, it's that's a thing. Tennis isn't based on one day, uh, and it's based on 50 to 60 matches a year, and uh, it's on how you perform to, out of those matches. And uh, it's I, I don't I don't give out points. You sort of have to earn them. So that's all up to him. More questions? So, Mr. Lorendo, under these circumstances, are you happy, satisfied with this 1 1 during the first match? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to be up 2 0, but 1 1 is better than 0 2, so, you know, we, <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, we go and it's 1 1, and there's a lot of tennis, a lot of matches ahead, and, uh, you know, last time we were down 2-0, and this this time on Friday we're we're at one all. So we'll take that, we regroup, and get ready for a very difficult doubles tomorrow. Well, I think your serve uh, wasn't working as usual. What do you think was the cause? I don't know. I still haven't had a chance to speak with my coach about those kind of things. If I knew what the reason was, I think I would have sort of found a way to fix it throughout the match, but it just, I think it's just a matter of uh, getting out there and hitting enough serves and uh, not just hitting enough serves, but hitting enough uh, serves in a competitive, uh, competitive situation in match play. More questions? Thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.